Is Lineage OS 14.1 worth it in 2018? Let's find out. Hey, what's happening guys? Hope you all are doing well. This is Shiro back with another video. And today in this video, I'm gonna review the Lineage OS 14.1 after a year or more than a year on Redmi Note 3. And I'm reviewing the latest build again because some of you guys requested for it. If you are a beginner and you don't know how to flash this ROM and stuff like that, well, there are five steps. One, unlock the bootloader. Two, install official DWRP. Three, format the internal storage. Four, install the ROM. Five, install the G apps. That's all. It's that simple. And even after that, the banking app starts working right after flashing. So that's a feature right there because no ROM does that. So let's do it. So there have been a lot of questions asked that why this has been my favorite ROM since 2017. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about that. And the best feature of this ROM, in my opinion, is it doesn't feel like it's a custom ROM because the ROM feels like it's optimized and just made for the device like it's the stock ROM of this device. The performance is so good and the fluidity of this ROM is amazing. Yes, in 2018 with Android Oreo, Nitrogen OS has been my favorite ROM since today. But if you talk about Nougat, Lineage OS has been my favorite ROM since this long time. And yes, Lineage OS 15.1 will be out for Redmi Note 3 officially. And I will make videos of course on that too. So please subscribe to the channel right here. And if you want to see my more videos, here is a card for you. And for this, I made some key points over here and I'll talk about them one by one. So firstly, let's talk about some features that I love on Lineage OS. The launcher I'm using over here is modded pixel launcher. Here is a card if you want to use this launcher on your device. Swiping down anywhere on the home screen gets you to the notification drawer. And this quick settings panel gives you pure vanilla Android experience. So that's awesome. Stuff like torch, read mode, disabling heads up, everything works fine on this ROM. So no issues regarding those. Even the settings panel has pure vanilla Android feel to it. If you go into gestures, there are options to enable double press power button to launch camera and double tap to sleep on the status bar. Note that there is no option to wake the device by double tapping. And in status bar settings, you will find minimalistic customizations of this ROM. In system icons, you will find things like headset, battery, bluetooth, etc. And only thing I miss over here is a vault logo. And you can change the clock position to left, right or even center if you want that. And you can adjust AMPM style. On the bottom, we have option for auto brightness and brightness control by swiping on status bar. You can change the battery style to portrait or circle. Note that there is no option for dotted or big icons like Nitrogen OS or Resurrection Remix though. And we have option for quick pull down. And here is the about section of this ROM. And yeah, this ROM totally supports OTE updates, but it's not incremental update though. It downloads the full ROM zip and automatically flashes the ROM file with TWRP, so that's amazing. Android version is 7.1.2 as you can expect. And if you tap on Lineage OS version multiple times, it shows the Lineage OS logo. Here is the stock kernel if you are into that. Yes, these features aren't as many as Resurrection Remix or Nitrogen OS, but it works. And in my opinion, it's the most stock Android-ish experience as it can get. Because it has some little features like the double tap to sleep and brightness slider. I mean, adjusting the brightness by swiping on the status bar feature, etc. And these features are missing on Pixel Experience ROMs. So in my opinion, again, it's the most convenient as it can get. Now let's talk about benchmarks if you are interested in that. 
and in my opinion the stability performance and the ram management of this rom is just amazing have a look if you need to As you can see all the apps are in memory so no issues with memory management here and what I can tell you is it's much better than at least what we get on MIUI. In recent apps panel if you tap and hold on an app you will see this lock and cross option. By tapping on the lock option you can make sure that particular app stays in memory. So that is one great feature here and there is no clear all button on the bottom of recent apps you have to go all the way down to get clear all option. And this ROM has a feature of advanced reboot too. You can enable it this way. For that you have to go to settings and about phone. Now scroll down until you find this build number. Tap on this build number 7 times to get developer options. I did it already so let me go back in developer options you should see this advanced restart option enable it once done just press and hold the power button tap on restart you will see this soft restart booting directly to recovery and boot loader option so now let's talk about battery life and there was a huge issue of the phone getting powered off automatically when it reaches under 20% or something like that with stock kernel of course and this has been a big issue for a lot of you guys out there and for me also but on the latest build which is the 9th March build of 2018 I feel this issue has been fixed somewhat but not 100% without turning on the battery saver mode ever I got like good amount of screen on time I don't remember how much and I didn't take a screenshot because I was not counting from 100% but the phone did get switch off when it reached 7% or 6% mark and this was without ever turning on battery saver mode and when I turned on battery saver mode I feel like it will never get turned off automatically yes it will never get turned off automatically because I put it down to like 3% or 4% it was still running the phone was still running so you can do that if you want to so it's not an issue as of now and this is the screen on time and stuff i got so almost five and a half hours of screen on time and this is a two years old battery considering that it's not bad at all and for this time i turned on the battery saver mode from 30 percent and the most amazing feature of this rom in my opinion is all the banking app starts working even right after flashing you don't have to install magisk or you don't have to root or anything it just works and i feel even after flashing the latest firmware there's a bit delay of the unlocking screen with the fingerprint scanner i have a pc fingerprint scanner by the way and i feel this too it happens when you lock and unlock the screen simultaneously it just doesn't unlock for one or two seconds so that's the issue i think and of course native video call still doesn't work on this ROM even with latest firmware. It's the issue of Xiaomi's firmware not the developers so don't blame developers for this. And the IR blaster and stuff like that is working super fine on this ROM so no issues with that. And the face unlock. Yes face unlock does work but quick face unlock which you just look at the phone and it unlocks automatically that doesn't work. You have to swipe it manually. So that's that. And one more thing I noticed, even if the phone is in do not disturb mode, if you take a screenshot, it pops the sound. So that's an issue in my opinion. And yeah, GC Mod 5 Portrait Mode and HDR Plus Enhanced working super fine on this ROM, so no issues with that. Yes, you can take portrait selfies on this ROM. Here is an example of that. One more. Here is a picture that I shot with HDR plus enhanced mode, pause it if you need it, zooming in, you see the details, 
Here is one more picture of a flower with HDR plus enhanced. Zooming in again, pretty awesome if you ask me. So in conclusion, yes there are ROMs like Nitrogen OS which is in my opinion the best customizable ROM and super stable. And there are ROMs like Resurrection Remix, Audio and stuff like that. But if you want to feel like you are using a most stable custom ROM based on Android Nougat and if you want to feel like you are at home and I would say it again, it doesn't feel it's a custom ROM. It just feels like the device came with it. So that's an amazing thing. If you feel that, you can flash it too. So that's it for now. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. This has been Tito from Carry and Take signing off. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.